New tonight at 10, a local MMA fighter thought she had COVID going from fights in the cage to being bedridden. But last week, she learned her true diagnosis, cancer. She spoke with Fox 5's Kim Passoff, and tonight Kim joins us from her training gym, Extreme Couture on Sunset. Kim? Yeah, Maria Favela moved to Las Vegas two years ago from Mexico to train and fight with the best of the best. And now that community is rallying behind her as she is fighting for her life. MMA mindset has been helping me in this journey. Professional mixed martial arts fighter Maria Favela is now facing the toughest opponent of her life, lymphatic cancer. I was having a, a lot of pain on my chest, a few fevers, and the doctor told me that it was COVID. She rested at home and took medication, hoping she would get better. When you are an MMA fighter, you only have insurance when you are in the cage. Out of the octagon, we don't have insurance. But as the professional athlete's health continued to decline, the 30-year-old knew she needed to do something. But I wasn't feeling better and I was getting worse and worse and worse. And I came to Mexico to see what was going on, to look for a specialist. Because here it's more affordable to see a doctor. In Mexico City, she ended up in the emergency room with intense pain in her chest. Because I couldn't breathe, I was with high fever again, I was coughing, but I, I speed a lot that time. She got a full workup, including this x-ray, the diagnosis, lymphoma. When they told me you had cancer, the first thing, when I, the first thing that I thought was, I'm dead. Doctors tell her there is treatment, but it comes with a hefty price tag. So the doctor showed me like, okay, this, this is going to cost you maybe like a million pesos, like $75,000. As she remains in Mexico, friends here in Vegas have set up this GoFundMe to pay for her treatment. The doctors just actually told me yesterday that I need a bone marrow transplant. I need a chemo when they say like i'm gonna lose my hair too it's something kind of hard to think about it maria says some of the biggest names in fighting have opened their hearts and wallets to help even people she doesn't know personally makes me feel so loved and full of energy and um we are mma fighters but we prove that we are great human beings So while she was training here for eight to 10 hours a day, she didn't have time to get a second job, so she doesn't have much savings. She's been told her treatment will take about six months. She hopes to obviously win that cancer battle. And then her ultimate goal is to get back here and fight in the cage once again. Reporting live, Kim Passoff, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. We will follow her progress. Kim, thanks. And we do have a link to the GoFundMe under this story on our website, fox5vegas.com.